Jim Sullivan is not a missing person. That's the subject line that I got from brain scratcher Christy Groves, who was trying to do something special with this case, going the extra mile and creating a NAMIS profile for Jim. Now, for those of you that don't know, that is for missing persons. It is a national database. It's very, very important if you ever face one of these cases that uh, you get your family member listed in NAMIS. You can get their DNA entered there, uh, their dental information. That stuff is really important because they also are a database of unidentified people and those things sometimes match up. Sometimes a body is found in, in one location, they don't know who the missing person is, and because of systems like this, they're able to match that up. Now, I was really surprised when NAMIS basically contacted Christy back with the following. I spoke with Santa Rosa PD, who does not have a missing persons case for James Sullivan. They also stated that the Guadalupe County Sheriff's Office does not have a case either. I spoke with the New Mexico State Police who stated that James has never been listed in New Mexico as a missing person. At this point, we aren't able to pursue James's case from a NAMIS perspective. James's family would need to contact law enforcement in New Mexico to discuss filing a missing persons case. So what the heck is going on here? I mean, are we being duped? Is this just some type of uh, internet legend that was drummed up to sell copies of this guy's record way after the fact? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure that I necessarily believe in that. Um, if you recall the story, if you don't, I'll have the original brain scratch in the description box below. But if you recall, there was someone that had republished one of his records. That guy's name was Matt Sullivan. He is not related to James. Um, I'm making this video in an effort to get it to Matt. So Matt, if you're seeing this, I'm asking you directly. I know that you met with James's family. I know that you researched this case pretty in depth before you put that record out. Um, we need to nudge his family to get a missing persons case opened. And outside of that, there might be a big question about what, what happened with this case in the first place. Um, was it ever listed as a missing persons case? If it wasn't, why not? One of the things that bothered me, um, and if you look at the previous Brain Scratch, I talked about this, the liner notes for the re-release of Jim's album had a lot of information about the search for him, and one of those things included information that seemed like a police officer didn't really like Jim a whole lot. So is there potentially something going on here where that record was destroyed for some reason? Uh, maybe to cover up what someone had done to Jim? I, once again, don't know, but there are a ton of theories whipping through my head and the fact that we cannot confirm that he was ever a missing person in the state blows my mind. Um, either something really bad is going on here in terms of a cover up or some bad, horribly bad records management um, but in any case, to get this ball rolling in the right direction, Matt, if you're seeing this, um, if any of Jim's family is seeing this, please contact that local police department or maybe I would even recommend the state police and get a missing persons report filed. Um, through that, if you guys need help with creating the NAMIS profile, please reach back out to me. Um, I will coordinate with my brain scratcher, Christy. We will help get the NAMIS profile built up. It would really help if you guys had access to any dental records of his, potential DNA samples, and I don't know if they're tracking familial DNA yet. It could be that we don't even necessarily need um, a sample directly from Jim. It could be that if uh, one of his children was available, that might be helpful. Um, there is a lot of stuff that can be done to help get this case rolling in the right direction, but it's going to take coordination from Jim's family. So I'm hoping that one of you out there is hearing this, and I believe you guys are out there. I mean, the research that I did for that last episode, I was running into notes all over the place from you about how much you missed uh, Uncle Sully and how much Jim, how much he was an impact to your family. If that is all true, Let's try to do these things so that we can hopefully figure out what happened to Jim. And here's what I think is likely to occur if we do take these steps. I think there might be a good chance that Jim has already been discovered somewhere, but he's probably listed as a John Doe because there is no record to line up with to say, hey, we have this missing person, we found this body, this looks like it's this person, let's test it to make sure. 
So it could be that Jim Sullivan's family is out there waiting to have a proper burial, waiting to have proper services for Jim, and they don't even know that it's an option because for some reason, this record has disappeared. It's kind of mind blowing to me, but um, I know I can speak for Christy when I say, we're willing to help push this in the right direction. We're willing to do whatever it takes to get, just to get this guy entered into NAMIS, but we need your help to do so. So Matt, if you're seeing this, please contact the family. Uh, family members, if you're seeing this, please, please, please get a missing persons report filed, get a message back to myself um, let's, let's make this work so we can hopefully find Jim. I mean, that's ultimately what this is all about. I was just totally blown away. I've never had this happen. We've had a few other cases where there hasn't been a NAMIS profile and we've been able to help with that. But to hear that you have several law enforcement authorities that are saying there is no record of this ever happening, it's kind of scary to me. So let's see what we can do about that. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And if Matt or Jim's family are watching this, um, Jim's family in particular, my heart goes out to you for your loss. And I hope that we might be helpful here uh, in terms of helping you guys reconcile that loss in some way. So thank you so much. And I'll see the rest of you back here on the Lord and Arts channel.